So now in this video, we're going to build a circuit. This is really just a demonstration circuit, uh, not really practical at all, other than helping you visualize that a capacitor passes alternating current while blocking direct current. And so in series with the, the capacitor, we have a polarity indicator, a couple LEDs wired in opposite directions. One lights up when current's going one way, positive and negative, and then the other one lights up when current's going the other way positive to negative. We have a current limiting resistor right there. And I don't have an actual single, uh, well I do have a single pole double throw switches, but I'm going to just use a jumper and manually move it from the uh, positive supply or to the negative uh, supply. But uh, any case, when we have it to the positive supply, the uh, red LED will light up just briefly and then it'll be out uh, for good as long as we hold the uh, jumper in this case to the positive supply because the capacitor does not pass direct current. Once we flip it down to the negative side of the uh, power supply which is actually connected to the uh, other side of the capacitor there so that'll make a direct connection that will allow the capacitor to discharge but current's going to move in the other direction that's the main takeaway so current's going to alternate through this circuit and we'll be able to see that with the LEDs. There's better ways to wire this up uh, for practical purposes but this is a good demonstration. And here we have the circuit on the breadboard. So it's actually wired in the opposite direction. I just like the way the capacitor looks in this direction. You can see the numbers and whatnot but the connections are the same. We got the jumper. It's to the positive supply right now and uh, the other side to the resistor. The resistor comes to the LED. So the red LED I want to light up when we got the more positive there. It's not lit right now because the capacitor is already charged. It's black and direct current. But long lead the anode up one row, short lead the cathode to the capacitor right there. Well, the blue LED is wired in the opposite direction. Anode to the capacitor, cathode to the resistor. So cathode shorter lead. Also, there's a little flat edge where the uh, cathode is. So we'll zoom back. We have 5 volts. As you can see, the output is on, so it's providing power to the board. That's what that means. I limited current to 20 milliamps, just in case I uh, miswired something really bad and uh, put power to the LEDs. No more than 20 milliamps of current would flow. And so we will move the jumper to the blue rail there, negative. So that's going to the other side of the capacitor. It's actually providing the power right now. But in any case, there you can see it flash for a period of time and it went out and so a little current still like trickling through but uh, for the most part it's out it will go completely out uh, relatively quickly and now we go over to the positive rail and uh, again current flowed in the opposite direction of the blue LED and uh, it went out uh, relatively quickly so that's uh, about it it's a visual demonstration if you want to flash LEDs there's much better ways but uh, this is a visual demonstration, not a practical circuit. So hopefully it helped you understand capacitors a little better and what it's meant by them passing alternating current while blocking direct current. But in any case, check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I put links down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.